excitement and hype of E3 week, the three console manufacturers take to the stage and make a heap of bold claims, declarations and promises. Their hope is to ignite consumer anticipation for their range of consoles and games that can be converted into sales. But with the wisdom that comes from time passing, we can assess which claims were honoured, which hit stumbling blocks, and which were just hot air. I ask, one year later, did Microsoft keep their E3 2014 promises? The promise. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on Xbox One. Xbox owners will be the first to play all of the add-on content. Was it kept? Oh yes, this long-standing partnership with Activision is still fruitful for Microsoft. The first two map packs, Havoc and Ascendance, were released on Xbox 360 and Expo one month before the PlayStation. The promise. The most iconic sports car track in the world, the Nürburgring, will be available starting today. And that's for everyone with Forza Motorsport 5, and it's free. Was it kept? It was, but seven months after its microtransactions controversy, this reparation was underwhelming. The promise. Including the premiere of the Lamborghini Huracan. Was it kept? Yes, the Lamborghini Huracan was included in Forza Horizon 2 when it launched in November 2014, and it featured on the box art. It didn't show up in another game until the Drive Club Lamborghini Expansion Pack in March 2015. The promise. Horizon 2 delivers a full day-night cycle and introduces dynamic weather. Was it kept? Yeah, after their absence from Forza 5, they featured in Horizon 2. In fact, so impressed were some media that Gaming Age and US Gamer each gave it full marks. The promise. Evolve DLC will be a timed exclusive on Xbox One. There will be an exclusive open beta on Xbox One. Was it kept? Pretty much yes. The Expo open beta ran from the 15th to the 19th of January 2015. Any Expo owner with Xbox Live could play. However, a small technical test beta for PC and PS4 ran shortly after. As for DLC, 2K games are giving away maps free. The first two maps, Broken Hill Foundry and Broken Hill Mine, were released on Expo on the 31st of March and one month later on PC and PS4. The promise. ACU also marks the first time you will be able to form your own brotherhood and join with up to three friends on Xbox Live. Was it kept? Yes, two to four player co-op missions did appear in the final Xbox One version, as well as the PC and PS4 editions. The promise. Dragon Age Inquisition DLC will be a timed exclusive on Xbox One. Was it kept? Yes, with sprinkles on top. Not only was the Jaws of Hakon DLC content first on Xbox One and PC, it seems Microsoft worked a non-disclosure agreement into the contract. So Bioware were not even allowed to say if the content was coming to other platforms. This was a great boon for Microsoft, but Xbox 360 and PlayStation owners were left wondering if they would be receiving it. Considering this was in the weeks prior to the much anticipated RPG The Witcher 3, it perhaps gave the impression that those formats would not be supported with DLC, so made it the perfect time to trade in your copy of Dragon Age Inquisition. A plus for Xbox One, a big own goal for Bioware. The promise. Sunset Overdrive, starting October 28th, exclusively on Xbox One. Was it kept? Indeed it was. Sunset Overdrive was released in October 2014 and received substantially positive reviews. Polygon.com's Arthur Gise was absolutely beside himself with delight for this exclusive. The Promise. A Dead Rising co-op DLC would be exclusive to Xbox. Was it kept? By golly, yes. This fun expansion and nod to Capcom's history was first available on 360 and later released on Xbox One. The Promise. Where you'll become a sorcerer's apprentice and remix your favorite songs through expressive motion gameplay. Was it kept? Yeah, 
The game hit its release date and if you can describe flailing your arms about in front of Kinect as remixing songs through expressive motion gameplay, then this promise was kept too. The promise. Dance Central Spotlight, an all new digital only title available exclusively for download on Xbox One. Was it kept? It was, but this requires further discussion. It was an odd product that seemed designed to not sell copies. It was a Kinect motion controller game. Of course this meant it was not available on PS4. However, it was also not available to 360 owners with Kinect, cutting out the install base of over 24 million. So, no disc copies, only download for the Xbox One peripheral that had been openly rejected by many owners. It makes you wonder if the game was produced solely to fill up 5 minutes of E3 stage time. The reviews weren't good. Official Xbox Magazine UK and Game Informer gave it a measly 60%. However, the Polygon.com review under the review editorial leadership of Arthur Gyres gave it an 8 out of 10. The promise. It's been my pleasure to share this first look into Fable Legends. Our multiplayer beta will begin this fall. Was it kept? It was, first showing its head in October. Something interesting, Lionhead, perhaps fearing a backlash, didn't use the stage to tell the public that the game had switched to a free-to-play microtransactions model, with microtransactions required to maintain a character of your choice. The promise. Almost 10 years without a new game. Guess we'll have to make our own. Was it kept? In April this year, the Conquer Create and Play bundle was released, featuring the Conquer character and level assets. Additionally, a Conquer's Big Reunion, a new game made within Project Spark by Team Dakota was released. There are also a growing selection of homegrown Conquer games. The Promise. Ori and the Blind Forest will be exclusive to Xbox One and will be released holiday 2014. Was it kept? No, it wasn't. The game was delayed, so it did not make the Christmas season window. Additionally, it was also released on PC. There was no mention of this being a console exclusive, just that it was exclusive. However, it did meet with an excellent critical reception. Full marks from multiple websites including Twinfinite, Digital Spy and The Six Axis meant they categorised it as one of the finest examples of video game entertainment. The promise. For the first time ever, you can play the entire Master Chief Saga on a single console, the Xbox One, with Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Was it kept? Yes, the Halo Master Chief Collection, including Bungie's Halo 1 to 3 and the Halo 4 game, all came out for one console, the Xbox One. The promise. All four games, with everything unlocked, on one disc. Was it kept? For the physical release of the collection, arguably Microsoft's most important promise was broken. Three weeks prior to release, Microsoft said that the game required a patch, but their use of the word was more than creative, as this was not a 500 meg patch, or even one gigabyte patch, it was going to be a 20 gigabyte patch. The explanation given was that they did not want to cut corners and remove content from the disc, but the logical thing to do would be to release the game on two disc making customers who opt for the physical edition download 50% of it goes against the spirit of a disc release. The promise. And I am excited to tell you that Halo 2 is getting the full anniversary treatment. That is every map ever released on Halo 1 through 4, all running at 1080p, 60 frames per second, on dedicated servers. Was it kept? It depends on whether you are able to accurately decode a sentence that has been said in such a way as to deliberately obfuscate the truth. Halo 2 campaign runs at 1328 by 1080 The multiplayer runs at 1080p. Halo boss Frank O'Connor later said Dan Ayub was only talking in reference to the multiplayer. He later explained on Nia Gaff, There was no simple way to clarify that in our two minutes on stage at E3. Well, how about just saying on stage, the campaign runs in this, and the multiplayer in that. The promise. The Master Chief Collection will ship with 4,000 gamer score. Was it kept? Indeed it was. The promise. 
This December, we bring you the Halo 5 Guardians Beta. Was it kicked? Oh yes. It began 29th of December 2014 and ran until the 18th of January 2015. The promise. Indie game Inside will debut on Xbox in early 2015. Was it kicked? Not yet. This exciting indie game was expected in the first quarter of the year. It's still in the oven. Developers Playdead's PR have sent an email to media saying that it will be released in the first half of 2015. So there is still time to keep the promise. The star personality of the Xbox conference is undoubtedly Phil Spencer. After he took the reins of the Xbox division, this was his coming out party as boss man. He had already made the decision to drop the Kinect from the standard Xbox One packages and reappropriated processing power that had been reserved for Kinect to give the Expo better performance. He gave a shout out to PlayStation and Nintendo and he even gave a clumsy white bro fist bump. So seeing him open the conference was a positive that signaled a new chapter for Xbox. The promise. ID at Xbox is a program we've built to help independent developers realize their creative visions and bring great games to Xbox One. Was it kept? In some areas, yes, and in some, no. There has been some movement and positive steps to assist developers with free development kits. We're supporting their creativity by providing developers with free development kits, free middleware options, and ongoing support that enables developers to self-publish on Xbox One. However, the initial promise to turn every Xbox One into a development kit has yet to materialize. And the parity policy remains despite Phil Spencer saying, I want to rethink how we approach this. The promise. My team and I are excited to present our next original game exclusively on the Xbox One. Was it kept? Yes, game is still in development. Promise. A new Phantom Dust is in development. Was it kept? The game is still in development, so yes. The promise. I'm excited to reveal the return of a game close to my heart and the hearts of many gamers. Was it kept? Yes, as the game is in development. Going into E3, it makes sense to look back at previous year's conferences. Watching them can teach you to tell the difference between crowd-pleasing sparkles and genuine AAA announcements. Bless you for watching. Please hit the like button to say you enjoyed the video. And do subscribe for further updates. Cheers!